<laughs> Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. I'm Jesper, and this is Ataxia by Dreadbox. So Dreadbox calls this a dual modulator, but I think you can use it as so many different things. It is indeed your uh, modulation source. You can use it as an LFO and it's got a dual ADSR envelope as well. So I want to really dive into this and show you how all of these functionalities can be unlocked by this great little pink devil. And it's, well, it's an eye catcher, right? You, you immediately notice this module in your rack and I truly love it and I want to show you guys why. So I would say, here we go. So here we have Ataxia by Dreadbooks. And the first thing that you see when you look at this is of course, you, you can't miss that color. And it is just a beautiful bright pink color, which I love to have in my rack, which is predominantly black and, uh, and gray, of course, or silver, depending on how you look at it. Um, and Ataxia is part of the chromatic series by Dreadbooks, which has all of these bright, vibrant colors. And I do applaud them for bringing a lot of color to your rack, both figuratively and literally. So, um, that being said, let's dive right in. So here at the top, you've got your inputs, trigger for time and for level. Um, you've got your two buttons that can be used to uh, switch from, well, from, from, from track one and track two or input one, input two, and you, you, you know what I mean. And you have your selector where you can switch from, uh, from modulation to LFO. And if you press both of them together, they'll start flashing. Now you're in ADSR mode and then you can still switch from one to two and you can use this one to switch from well if everything is off it's well exponential this is linear and if it's flashing you're running in logarithmic mode and then just press them again and you're back to the mod slash lfo environment uh, then you've got your sliders uh, which of course all have a different role depending on which mode you're in so if you're in the modulation mode, you've got uh, uh, rise, fall and hold, and then you can use this to select your slope shapes. If you're running as LFO, you've got your rise, your fall, your delay, and I'm gonna tell you what that is later on, and still have your slope design there. If you're running in ADSR mode, ADSR as expected, and you can then use your button, your right button there, to uh, do your slope sh uh, shape design. And at the bottom, you've got your two outputs and you've got your attenu attenuators for your level. Uh, so this is the final attenuation that you can do. So that being said, I would uh, like to just dive in and see how this all works and how this all looks and how this all sounds. So what I've got is I've got my key step 37 connected here. Um, so you, I can use that to uh, play some notes and create some gates. I don't have a trigger source here, but you can still use your, well, you can use your gate as a trigger in this case. So I've got some sound coming in. I've got the input for the trigger and I've got the output that goes in there as well. So you can see everything happening on the scopes. So if I press this button here, you see what happens. Let's connect some audio so we can hear what we're doing as well. There we go. And we should be able to hear something. Oh, wow. I need to turn these up a bit. Maybe a bit further. As you can see, it doesn't really matter 
um, how long I press the key down, it's just going to be the exact same shape the exact, all the time. And I can then, of course, play with the shape a bit. This is a bit too long, I think. You can add some hold to it. And you can change shape. So right now it's, it's exponential. You can do linearly. And you can do logarithmically. And that's just great fun. So if I'm then switching to LFO mode, you'll see that it no longer just starts at zero, but it, you can go all the way from uh, from negative to positive, of course. And you can then, of course, play with the shapes. So now it's back to linear, logarithmic, and back to exponential. And you can do crazy things with this, of course. It's just fun to play with. Then you also have your delay. So if I'm just take, taking this a bit slower, a bit slower. And if I press a key or send a, a trigger, you see that that will reset the cycle. If I then also add some delay to it, you'll see that it takes a while for it to get back to its, well, its ultimate amplitude. And it's just fun. You can do great, great things with that. If you want to have something that's really building up. I like that. I like that as an effect. Okay. So that's the LFO mode. Let's switch to ADSR. Here we go. So we're in ADSR mode now. So let's just uh, give it some attack. Some decay. There you go. And if I then also add some sustain. There you go. And let's add some release. So again, this is quite a recognizable ADSR shape. So right now everything is in exponential mode. I can then press this button and we're going to go to linear mode. And if I press it again, we're going into logarithmic mode. Beautiful, right? And yeah, you can just play with this. And this is just one of those key things that we can truly that I truly love. Um, one of the other things that you can then do is you can also just start to play with the time with the time input. So I'm using my modulation wheel on the key step 37 to do that. So right now we have this as a shape. But if I then turn the modulation up, we'll see that it takes way longer. And if I turn it all the way down, now we're back to what we expected. If I put it halfway, it just takes a ginormous amount of time to get to the top. Let's hold it. See that decay, the sustain and your release. It's just fun to play with. And the same thing happens also if you want to play with the level. So you can do all kinds of things with that. So I'm actually going to grab uh, an LFO, put that in level. And you'll see what we have there, right? <laughs> it's just fun to play with this module and you can do all of this that I've done right now you can do that for one well for one branch but you also have your second branch so you can do everything in, in, in duplicate uh, but do keep in mind that if you're running ADSR you can only use one of the triggers and the trigger whether you use input one or input two 
um, will trigger both of the ADSR envelopes. So that's great if you want to have an envelope for both your filter and for your volume, for your VCA, um, you can do great things with that. So how does that work if you want to do something differently on the second one? So right now we have this set up for our first, and now we can go into the second and it will actually remember the setting from the first. So if you then go here, we need to go either go back if we want to change it. So it's easy to switch that as well. So I hope you enjoy this dive into ataxia. You can do so many great things with this. And I've, I've got the feeling that I've only, well, breached the surface. Uh, and there's so much more hidden away within this module. Um, I'm going to be playing with this. This is, of course, one of the first envelope modules or, or um, well, also envelope modulation modules that I'm reviewing. So I'm still, well, trying to uh, find my, get my grips here, but I'm going to keep you posted on how far along I, I get with this. And for now, I would say, let's go back to the studio and uh, wrap this up. Cheers. So I hope everyone enjoyed this well, deep dive on Ataxia by Dreadbox. I certainly truly enjoyed making this and I've got a feeling that Ataxia will be in my rack for quite some time. So I do have to thank my family for giving this to me for Father's Day. So they made this episode possible, right? Well, applause to them. So other than that, I would say, well, everyone, please like, subscribe and comment. Um, and of course, if you have any questions and don't feel comfortable by dropping it in the comment section, just uh, drop me a line at yesper at the modular clubhouse.nl. And other than that, I would say, well, please, everyone stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope to see you for the next one. Cheers.